Hello there, welcome to the third installment of the Lockdown Commuter. This is Simon Trades, or some people I call me Simon Trades, and we're at Rougie Town Railway Station. Now, the good thing is, it's not cold and frosty, and it's not raining, even though it has tried to rain, but it's a bit more clearer today. It's so clear, you can see Rougie Power Station, even though dawn is about to break. Now, usually you will find me going up and down the country filming trains, visiting railway stations and so on. But unfortunately, we're still in lockdown and unfortunately, I can't do that. So instead, what I am doing is, is commuting to work because I'm an essential key worker. And we're only travelling from Rougie Town to Stafford and Stafford to Rougie Town. That's all we're doing. So welcome to the third instalment of the lockdown commuter. Honestly, there is not many trains past the Bruce Trev Valley since they produced the timetable. If you also notice that side, it has been snowing as well. Just coming down to the bottom of Colton Road, because I want to see if it's flooded, because there, last night we had a storm Kristoff. Now, unfortunately, it has brought up the network down, so this was one of the things that was going against filming, to be honest. But, we're just coming down to the Colton Road now, which is just behind me. The auctionman pub, which used to stand there, is just right there. I just want to see if the under the bridge is flooded to be honest. I do actually have time because I've actually got time to kill for my train. But really I want to see if it's flooded to be honest. So yes, unfortunately Storm Christoph has flooded underneath the road bridge. Now I'm just going to show you where the road bridge is because it is actually in front of me now, but you can't see it because the camera's right behind it. So I'm just going to flip it a sec and then talk about something else. The bridge is just from there and it goes right across there. That's where it's flooded underneath that. Now you guys to excuse the wind I'm afraid because it is quite windy this morning but it's still clear though which is good. Now the other thing I do want to talk about is some service reductions for West Midlands trains because they have announced that they are reducing more services because we are in lockdown technically and I don't think they're going to be out of lockdown until March. Some people say it might be Good Friday in April, but we just don't know yet, to be fair. But, basically, the Warsaw to Wolverhampton services, which is every 30 minutes, is now an hourly service when this goes out. Because they are changing that to an hourly service. But our line, the Chase line, Rushi, Trent Valley to Bergen, New Street, and one service goes to Bergen International, runs about... 20 40 minutes, but it's roughly 80 30 minutes. That's still a half an hourly service. But I'm not surprised if they end up going to turn that into an hourly service soon because they are reducing a lot of services, to be fair. But the only thing is that I've seen with this service reduction now, when I'm at Rouge Trev Valley, is there's not many trains to pass. Like the last two lockdown commuter blocks, there was plenty of trains passing. 
Also to point out, the chimney is still standing. Now by the time this vlog goes out, that chimney will be pulled down. So that's the last time you're going to see this chimney in a vlog. Now you can see here why I always wore to reach the bike for the 0809. It's just a tail ball. As you saw when I was passing through Cottlewood's Junction, it's just so flooded, the rivers have burst their bags. You will see more of that later on as I'm heading to work. But the other thing I want to talk about, because we are on the 809 crew now, which I'm getting off at Stafford, and what you just saw there is the main reason why when I do my railway journeys, I actually do walk to Rouge Trevay's, catch the 809 crew, or get off at Stafford, than rather get the train off Rouge Town, that's to change at Rouge Trail Valley because they both arrive at the same time. That is how it is, believe it or not. And that's why I don't catch the train off Rouge Town to catch the 0809 to Stafford Crew. Anyway, it should be on the approach to Stafford very soon. I'm now in the car park at Stafford Railway Station. What I have noticed is there's actually a lot of trains not coming north this way. As you can see in the background there, um, just put it in now, there you go. There's two Class 86 electric locomotives sitting on the Royal Mail platform. And there's an Avanti West Coast Class 390 Pendolino that's still sitting on Platform 3. And there's a Cross Country Trains that's actually sitting on Platform 5. So I don't know if anything's actually moving a lot because there's actually a couple of freight trains due at about 8.35. But I don't know if I'm going to get them or not to be honest because nothing's moving. Oh my god, I think something's moving now because I hear the doors closing on the Pendolino. Actually, even though I do mention freight trains, I do actually have a question for you all because I do like filming freight trains to be honest. But I notice in my audience retention reports when I film freight trains, it dips. So I don't think people like freight trains. So how about if you comment down below if you do like freight trains or you don't like freight trains? Simple thing to ask really.
I'll be honest with you, it's actually been quite disappointing. There's not really been much moving. Now you can just see here there is some 86s in the background there. They're not even going anywhere. So I'm going to call it quits filling at the car park now. I've got a better way to work. But on the way to work we're going to see some more areas that are flooded because Storm Christoph really has had a hammering last night. So we'll see some more floods because we do love some flowing water. Just at the roadside retail park, I'm not far from Asda to be honest, where I work. I'll show you a clip of that in a second, but I just want to show you how bad the River Sal is. It's actually literally burst its banks. Now I'm just going to get some uh, lunch from Greg's, which is in the Riverside Park, which is just down there. And then I'm going to head straight to work. So the next clip now will show where I work and I'll see you for the evening commute. Put this thing on the lens right there, I'll just uh, clean it now. And we're back. I'm at Stafford Railway Station now, waiting for the 1655 London Northwestern Railway service, which will take me to Rouge and Trev Valley. Now this carries on to London Euston. It is running because there are some services that are still not running due to the flooding. So the 1655 should be arriving now at 1650 to take me to Rouge and Trev Valley. It's time for the evening commute. Unless exempt, you must wear a face covering when on the train and at stations. So I'm now on 350.257, this is the 1720 to Birmingham International, but I'm only going one stop, which is about one mile, 25 chains down the line, to reach the town railway station. Now, in case you wonder where I'm wearing a face covering is, because I do have a face exemption badge on me. Now, I did not mention it on the commute this morning to Stafford, so in case you wonder why I'm not wearing a face covering, that is why. But we'll talk about today's commute actually, because even though we had Storm Christoph last night, and it has disrupted the railways has it disrupted my commute to be honest got the train at Rouge Town to Rouge Trevay okay Rouge Trevay though there is less trains because of the reduced timetables now which is a shame really and as you saw in the video the train off Birmingham New Street arrived at the same time as the 080 Lighter crew comes in that's why when I do my railway journeys I start at Rouge Trev Valley because I walked through to Trev Valley to catch the 809 so I made sure I got it because the connection is really really bad and you just saw there in the blog today why I always start through to Trev Valley when I catch the 809 because I walk it down there I don't trust that connection even though the past two lockdown commutes that I've done that train actually arrived before the 809 arrived to crew so it varies sometimes but I do not trust that connection to be honest that's why I walk into Rouge Trev Valley to catch the 809 to go north. And then at Stafford, we just saw how bad 
the River Sal bursts its banks, it's flooded Victoria Park, it's actually flooded by where I work as well. And on the way back, it's been the alright commute on the way back actually, it's been quite pleasant, so that's it really. Now, my next video is not going to be a lockdown commute because I actually do have a week off work. Unfortunately, I can't do much, but I might have something in the plan. There will be a video next week, but it won't be a lockdown commuting blog. So, if you'd like to support the channel, I do have a Patreon, which is listed down below. And if you see down below, there's a join button. So you can have YouTube memberships as well. If you want to check them out, feel free to do so. And feel free to give this video a like. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to. And feel free to leave a comment down below. I have been Simon Trains, or some people I call me Cyber Trains. And I will see you for another commute in a few weeks time. Thank you for watching. I'm going to end this with this 350 to zero departing Bougie Town Station.